Oh, Sammy, 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 Sammy. You're going to do that thing that you do, huh? You're going to make a, a Samsung-like mistake. Get daily tech news in a way that doesn't suck. Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next episode. Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to Front Page Tech. Of course, show that gives you all his tech news. From one geek that is me to another that is you. Happy Tuesday. Uh, yeah, we were supposed to do a show yesterday, which was Monday, but we did not because a storm happened in my general region vicinity place and turned the lights off. Thunder happened and then soon came the darkness. And then all last night it was complete darkness because it was Labor Day and nobody was working. So I was in the dark and it was 95 degrees in here and I thought about ending it all, <laughs> but I didn't. And I'm really glad I didn't because then I wouldn't be able to do this. The thing I love so much news. Okay, so story numero uno. Listen, I didn't want to talk about this, but like a lot of people keep asking me to talk about it. And even though I don't want to do it, I am a man of the people and I will do what the people command. We got another Pixel 3 XL leak. You probably heard about it at this point. I just want to give you my two cents. Let's be clear here. This was not a leak. These are not leaks anymore. These are like uh, a happen. Nothing leaked. It just happened. I guess some fucking stupid idiot left his Pixel 3 XL in a lift and the driver was like, wait, is that my phone? He picked up the phone, looked at it. It's got a big fucking notch on it. The face and all face, the googly eyes looking back at him. And he was like, ah, this is not my phone. This is a Pixel 3 XL. Google, I have a question. Do you think, do you think I am a fool? Because I am not. Listen to me. Google, what in the hell? Like, how, first of all, if you guys are like, whoa, it leaked. This is crazy. How does this keep happening? You, listen, are an idiot. These are, this is not accidental. This keeps happening because Google lets it happen. How do I know? Number one, it's happened a bunch. Number two, you left it. Some dude left an unreleased phone in the back of a lift of all things. Third of all, the lift driver is also a pixel user. Are you fucking kidding me right now? Everyone knows you know it. I know it that no one uses these devices. Like seven people have Pixel 2 XLs. The driver had a Pixel 2 XL. As you can see in one of the articles here, Pixel 2 XL, driver owned Pixel 2 XL. These are not leaks. Google is doing this on purpose. And I know you're like, well, John, if you say they're doing it on purpose, does that mean this is a fake phone, that this phone doesn't exist? No, the Pixel 3 XL is a real fucking phone. It's a real shitty phone. And this is a real marketing strategy. Google, there is no way in hell that all these things keep lining up and this phone just keeps getting out there in the ether and you aren't behind it. You're a bunch of motherfucking bitches and you know no one's gonna buy your goddamn phone because no one bought it before. And now you're gonna create this stupid viral marketing strategy. Be like, oh, they're gonna buy the phone now. No, no one will buy this fucking phone. Oh, and side note, uh, thank you, Reddit, for helping me say I told you so without me having to say it. Okay, uh, now let's talk about OnePlus, and this is actually kind of good news. And first of all, I just want to say I want to apologize for the sweat that is happening. It is hot in here now. The screaming definitely didn't help, and I know you're like, John, take your hoodie off, you idiot. But I can't, you see, because then you will see the mess that is the swamp underneath my armpits. What has happened is now this is not a this is not a wardrobe option that I chose. This wasn't a choice. Now this is a diaper. It's a sweat diaper. All right. I need it now. Okay, so we have a leak for the OnePlus 6. This is all coming from a Chinese leaker, apparently, which uh, that ain't special. But it all comes from some Chinese leaker somewhere. They are the soldiers, the warriors at the forefront of the leaking community because everybody knows that we all need the information before it comes out. It's all interesting before it comes out because once the phones are out, nobody buys them. Fortunately, though, isn't the case fully with the OnePlus. They do pretty well. And here supposedly is the box for the OnePlus 6T. Two things to note here. Number one, it has that good old water droplet notch thing that everyone's raving about, which of course we all saw coming if you pay attention, because as is with tradition, uh, OnePlus phones typically look like the model before it that came out from Oppo, which is the parent company for OnePlus. And as you can see here, this is the Oppo 17 Pro, and it's got the same thing. It looks the same. Second of all, according to this box uh, in display fingerprint scanner. All right, all right, I'm listening. The only thing this box is missing, the only thing it doesn't tell us is what we typically expect from the T upgrades of OnePlus. Somewhere on the box, just a line that says something like, uh, yeah, it's a little faster than the last one. Okay, so here's the thing. I'm typically usually impressed 
by almost everything OnePlus does. I've had OnePlus products before. I tend to love them, and it's because of the expectations that they set, right? If these were $1,000 devices, that's when we would start to nitpick and start judging on the decisions OnePlus has made. But because it's like $500, $600 in that price range, it leaves a lot of leeway for us as consumers to forgive a lot of things that these phones are missing or uh, different things they've chose to done, chose to do, chose to done do, done, done do, done, dumb. Hmm. Either way, I'm excited ish. Uh, not, let me be clear. I'm not excited enough to buy the phone. Not going to buy it, but I'm excited for you guys to spend your hard earned 600 bucks on something. Also one plus that notch. We see you the water drop notch. We know why you did it. It's because if the notch was any bigger, you'd know we'd come straight on this show and draw a face on it. That's why there's no other explanation as to why you would do that. Also, can I just, can we just like differentiate? I don't think this is notch. This is more of a camera cutout. Can we agree? Comment section below. I think we agree. If we don't, I don't care. All right, now let's talk about Samsung. They are about to f up. That's the bad news. The good news is that we all get to watch it happen. Okay, so if you've been watching this show for an amount of time, like a uh, month's amount of time, then you will know we have talked a bunch about the upcoming foldable Galaxy device from Samsung. In fact, it's been a thing. Like, there was rumblings about this phone all the way back in 2014. But it was scheduled for release or an unveiling or what? what we were going to see the thing in 2019. Next year, we're going to get the phone. It's going to be woohoo! But then, uh, the past couple weeks on this show, as you know, we have reported... That Samsung turns out not to be the only company working on a foldable device because Huawei, both Huawei and Xiaomi are like tickling the butthole of Samsung. They're creeping up. They're working on their own foldable devices and it kind of started to look like they were going to get done before Samsung was done with theirs. So in episodes where I mentioned that Huawei and Xiaomi were working on their own stuff, I was like, oh, well, Samsung's going to hurry up. And yeah, that's exactly what's about to happen. And it, I guess it kind of makes sense. So believe it or not, this might be hard truth for some of you. This is not about Samsung innovating and making a really great product that consumers are going to love. Because you know it, I know it, ain't nobody going to buy this phone. For Samsung, this is about being able to walk on stage and say that they were first. In fact, last month sometime when Samsung had to report their earnings to their shareholders and be like, yeah, they're low, but don't worry, we're going to make more money next year because we have an upcoming futuristic device that we're working on, aka the foldable galaxy thing. It is all about being first here to Samsung. That might be all that matters. So what we're looking at now is according to CEO DJ Ko, we might be seeing this phone for the first time at Samsung's developer conference in November. For those of you that don't do months real good, real good like, that is this year, 2018. Now, to be clear, there's no confirmation on whether or not you, the consumer, are going to be able to buy this phone in November, but we will most likely be able to see it. Now, if you're interested, if you're wondering like, hey, what does a foldable phone look like in 2018? Uh, funny you should ask that. This is a tweet from Ben Geskin from today. He tweeted this out. It's apparently a demo of a foldable device from BOE. And yeah, um, if I had just a smidge of excitement before for a foldable phone, this, uh, it's gone. It killed it. It's gone. Dead. Listen, I get it, right? I understand that is not a Samsung phone. That does not help us get a better look at what Samsung is working on themselves but I don't personally think it matters if it has a fucking Samsung logo on it or not. It's not practical. Nobody wants these foldable devices. Uh, you let me know in the comment section below. A little bit of a poll here for this community. Let us know in the comments if you are interested in a foldable phone. I don't want to hear if, oh, I think this is cool. No. Everything that everything based on technology is cool. We can talk to people. We have these little discs out. We can from space back to earth talk to people. It's insane. Yes, technology. It's all cool. I want to know, would you spend money on a foldable phone? Cool is different from practical. Do you see the issue here? Samsung, my problem is... I'm sure it's going to be great. It's going to it's Samsung. You have your Samsung money, but I'm sure this is just going to be like, oh, look, we have all this money. Look what we can do. Technology is cool, right? It goes whoop, whoop. It bends. It folds. That's amazing because we're Samsung. Being able to do it is just not good enough. It's not going to sell. I don't think I have to like predict that. It's just not going to. I think you know it deep down in, the, in your little heart. I'd rather Samsung just 
work on this if they are going to put this out which they are they've been working on it for years i'd rather they just make it really really good good enough to convince us the consumers to buy the phone but instead that's not what they're doing they're focused too much on being first and they're going to rush this thing keep in mind this thing has a bendable battery inside of it and i don't know about you but i don't have a lot of confidence in samsung bending batteries you know what i mean Listen, this is a mistake. It is going to be a mistake to rush this thing, to push it out too fast, just because some other companies are on your butthole. I get it, you want to be first, but you should just make a good product. That's all. That's all I want. You know, it doesn't f matter. It doesn't matter. Oh, it doesn't matter because it's not going to sell. So, you know. Uh, that's the show. Hopefully you liked it. You learned something. If you did, hit the like button. If you hate my stupid face now, hit the dislike button. I will see you tomorrow. Subscribe, all that stuff. So... Uh, you don't miss the next one. Ah, bye.